Hello, I'm Coco, food enthusiast, author, and resident chef. Cooking with Coco, here we go. Welcome, family, to my kitchen. Look at that, this, what? Ha, bam! Every batch made from scratch. Nothing to it but to do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Cook with Coco. From my grandma's kitchen to mine, now to yours. Hello, welcome, welcome guys to Cooking with Coco. How is everybody doing? Listen, listen, listen. I've got another good one for you. You know what? Easter is coming. And I just wanted to demonstrate how easy a delicious pan of dressing to go along with turkey, chicken, duck, pork chops, ham, just an easy side. Listen, back in the day, nobody, when I was coming up, nobody cooked the dressing but grandma. Y'all remember that? <laughs> then it was passed down to my mom. And now, me, cooking with Coco. Listen, I'm gonna open up with the word of prayer. I'm gonna show you guys how easy this is, and then we're gonna get started. Dear God, we come this day thanking you for another blessed week. God, we thank you for your grace, and we thank you for your mercy, God. Lord, we thank you that you love that you love us, God. We thank you that we love you as well. God, we thank you for, we celebrate Easter, God, and we celebrate Easter because of his death his burial, and the resurrection of our Lord and Jesus Christ. Listen, let's get started in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, y'all see, I got this big old bowl back here, okay? I have some fresh vegetables, some fresh herbs. I have celery, onions, bell peppers. I have fresh sage, fresh, um, what else I got? Fresh gar minced garlic. I have garlic salt. Um, what else do I have, guys? Oh, I have um, poultry season. What else, Akins? I have eggs. Celery. celery. I said celery. <laughs> Listen, this is a, a freshly baked rotisserie chicken I got from Kroger. Now, for you vegetarians and you just want the vegetables and your cornbread, listen, leave it out. Okay? Anything that you don't like that I called out, guys, just leave it out. No big deal. You need a delicious uh, skillet of cornbread. I've already cooked my cornbread, guys. In the first edition, Cooking with Coco, every batch made from scratch, you turn to page 48. You'll have that recipe for the buttermilk cornbread. If you don't want the buttermilk, just use uh, regular whole milk, okay? And then the recipe for the cornbread dressing is also in the first edition, and it's on page 70, okay? So all of this goodness, guys. I will also have this uh, on my YouTube channel, so with all of the ingredients, measurements, and such, okay? So if you do not, um, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, guys, please do so. Also, you know you people, well, especially myself and my house, uh, we love a turkey gravy. If you have not purchased your first, your, your third edition, limited gold edition, that uh, recipe for the turkey gravy is in this third edition on page 68. Another easy breezy, guys. Get your books. Listen, Mother's Day is coming up. Uh, what is it, uh, Pastor? It's the third Sunday in May? I believe so. Okay, he believes so. So, guys, this, would, uh, this third edition would be a great addition to add to your mom's, your your godmoms, your daughters, uh, your daughter-in-laws. Listen, this cookbook is an easy breezy. If I can do it, you can do it. Let's get started, guys. Okay, this morning I took the liberty of baking my homemade buttermilk cornbread. So, you're gonna need your cornbread. So we're gonna dump that cornbread over in there. And just for a filler, I love to, and I got this from my grandmother, it's not in the cookbook. But this is something, it's a secret, okay? Get you some toast, some, some, some white bread, and toast your bread, okay? You want to crumble that up 
over in with your cornbread. I have about four slices. Now, I have a skillet of cornbread. If you're going to feed more than 10 to 12 people, because this pan of dressing, these ingredients and measurements will feed about anywhere from 10 to 12 people, okay? Mother's Day, second Sunday, May the 8th. Oh, Ma, who said it? Mother's Day is May the 8th. Okay, Mother's Day is May the 8th, guys. So, think about, consider Cooking with Coco's third edition. I'm gonna turn this back on here. Um, let me tell you, I don't know, a lot of people, when they put their vegetables in their cornbread, they don't saute them. I do, let me tell you. It really brings out a wonderful, when I tell y'all wonderful, believe me, you want one stick of butter, because we're going to saute those, okay? We're gonna saute them. What are you saying, Mr. Aikens? Is that a half a stick or a whole That's stick? a half a stick of, of butter. We're Is using real stick? butter. Oh, I said whole? Okay. Half a stick of butter, real butter, guys. Then we're gonna take fresh minced garlic. Again, I will have those measurements on my YouTube channel, okay? So you'll see how you'll be able to get this. Um, and also, it is also in the third edition cookbook. So I, I have my minced garlic back there, and then I'm going to put an onion, bell pepper, and celery. I am a celery girl. I love celery, so I have a cup and about a fourth of celery. The bell peppers and onions, one cup each, okay? You wanna pour that over in your skillet as well. And we're just gonna saute, saute these vegetables until they're uh, nice and tender and um, translucent, if you will, okay? So we just wanna put those and soften those up. It will bring out so much deliciousness, deliciousness in this dressing. A lot of people just can't get it right. Listen, follow Coco's instructions, I tell you. You cannot go wrong. It will be moist. This chicken, rotisserie chicken that you put in there, it's gonna add all of that juiciness, all the flavor. My dressing never, ever, ever is dry. You really don't need gravy. Is that right, Akins? <laughs> Listen, so y'all follow suit, and I promise you, you will not be sorry if you follow these instructions. We want three eggs in your dressing, okay? So I usually crack them and um, buff them up really nicely, okay? And this is a whole rotisserie chicken. I just deep on it, and I kept it in little nice little hunks, okay? You have your three eggs. You want to pour that over in with your white bread. Okay, we have fresh herbs. We have sage, mmm. We have rosemary, mmm. What else we got? We have uh, poultry seasoning, okay? We have garlic salt and um, garlic powder, okay? You wanna pour all that goodness over in there. Let me tell you something. Have you all ever had uh, someone's dressing and it was green? They put too much poultry seasoning. They put too much poultry season in it. So you want a nice, beautiful brown dressing. Don't put too much poultry season in your dressing. Now, we want one can of cream of chicken, okay? One can of cream of chicken. Remember, if you are feeding more than 10 to 12 people, simply add more ingredients. You may want to make two pans of um, cornbread. You may want to um, toast more than just four slices of bread, okay? So again, just double your ingredients. Now I'm putting this rotisserie chicken in. This is a dumping game, guys. It's an easy breezy, nothing to it but to do it. If I can do it, you can do it. Guess what? I took a little break. Y'all, I've been tired. Y'all, I've been tired. Listen, so when you don't see Coco come on on a Friday or a Saturday or through the midweek, just go back to YouTube and watch some of our old shows. Listen, you still can learn. You still can learn from those old shows, okay? So, now, my veggies are cooking back here. And, of course, um, Akins, will you please hand me the salt and pepper, um, Right there, uh-huh, there and there. You want to season your veggies as well. So we have our garlic, we have our bell peppers, and we have our onions and celery, okay? Then you want to bring those flavors out. So you wanna add some black pepper. You know, make stuff taste good. We don't want black.
plan, okay? You want to some salt. Open up all of those juices, okay? Give that a nice stir. And again, I like my veggies tender. I don't like to, honey, can you bring that um, in a little bit maybe? Maybe they can kind of see what this is looking like. So, the veggies are cooking nicely. Again, I like my veggies tender. I don't like um, eating dressing and you have the hard crunch. That's not my preference, but if you like to bite down on your veggies, your onions and bell peppers and celery, then don't cook them, okay? So it's your preference. Now, I have a glove on for the simple reason. I want to get in here, and I want to mix all of this goodness up. So I have my rotisserie chicken, a whole rotisserie chicken that I deboned. I didn't shred. I just tore it apart because I, when you bite into this, you want to bite into chicken pieces, okay? I have um, cream of, uh, one can of cream of chicken. I have all of my herbs. I have four slices of toasted bread. Okay, just kind of mixing all of that. Three eggs. It's already smelling good. I don't know, can you smell that? You can't smell it? Okay. So, I forgot to take down my my chicken broth. Now you can use, if you're fixing or baking a turkey, if you are baking a chicken or duck, you can use that broth, okay? I'm using um, store-bought chicken broth. You can use the vegetable broth as well, okay? I know I'm gonna use at least one, and then I'm gonna show you the consistency of what it should look like. Then I still am taking my hand with my glove and I'm stirring all of that goodness like so. This is what it's looking like thus far. Can you bring that in for me? It smells good. Listen, fresh herbs, fresh basil, okay? Fresh, 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 fresh parsley. Okay, can they see that? Look at that. Okay. Okay. So we just want to mix all of that goodness. And this just helps you to, when you're using your hand, it just helps to really just incorporate all of those wonderful herbs and spices and all of that good stuff. Okay? So I have my salt and pepper back here as well. So I want to add some salt. Not too much. My husband always tells me I'm heavy-handed. But again, I will have those measurements for you so you'll know exactly what to do. So now we want to stir. Still, stir that nicely. Incorporate all of that goodness. Okay, this is the texture right now. This, to me, is not, um, I mean, it's wet enough. So I'm going to open another one if I can. And get my husband to open this for me. Step to the side for just a minute. My veggies are sautéing really nicely back here, okay? And they are smelling amazing. You can also um, dash a, a little uh, poultry season, a little uh, sage in your veggies as well, okay? Along with this butter and fresh minced garlic, guys, this is amazing. Now, don't forget... If you like, if you're a gravy guy or girl, you like, excuse me, it's the pepper in your, excuse me, I'm so sorry. Thank you, it's that pepper. <laughs> Thank you. So, we're going to add just a little bit more, and that's a half, okay? So, what I've used, uh, uh, one entire 32 ounce and then half of a 32 ounce, okay? Mix that really nicely, like so. And now, you know that the cornbread is already done, okay? You wanna cook those eggs when you put this in the oven and you just want it to firm, okay? The eggs will help it to rise just like if you were baking a cake. Okay, yes, this is the consistency. I definitely want you guys to see this. Can they see how this is? This is the consistency, see? It's not too mushy, but you still have your cornbread and you can see the texture okay 
smells amazing. It really smells amazing. And so for an Easter dinner, guys, what are you guys, um, what are you guys cooking for your Easter dinner? Do you have guests coming over? What, what are y'all doing? Um, we have guests <laughs> that are coming. Uh, how many guests are we having this? Okay, we have, uh, Pastor Jacobs said, we have about 10 guests that will join us on Sunday after church. Okay? So what are you guys cooking? You know, when my brother was living, he would love, he loved cooking as well. And he would often cook duck with the dressings. And so that was a good one. I don't know, do you all do chicken? Do you do turkey? Um, what, do you, what, do you, what do you guys like to cook for Thanksgiving? I know we're gonna do the traditional macaroni and cheese, um, collard greens, ham, uh, dinner rolls, the, the cornbread dressing, of course, and cornbread. Yeah, I usually do a skillet of steel buttermilk cornbread to go along with those delicious greens. Yeah, we're missing something though. I said turkey, ham, dressing, collard greens, macaroni and cheese. What else? Oh, these veggies. Okay. They're getting very tender and they smell amazing. I did sprinkle some fresh herbs over in this mixture as well. When those onions start to turn a translucent, let me show you. Can they see that? They smell so good. So we want, we want our dressing to be very flavorful, okay? So you want it to, you want to add those fresh herbs. And that's the key that I found to be um, a winner for me in my dressing. Fresh herbs, okay? Okay. Now, I'm going to step to the side. I'm going to get my pan. This is the pan I'm using. Do you have... Again, if you're going to double you, these ingredients, you simply um, get a bigger pan and add double the ingredients. So we're just going to spray this pan because we don't want anything to stick. You want to be able to get your big spoon and lift that deliciousness out and not to leave anything. So I just sprayed it with some Pam. Okay. My veggies are nice and tender. So now look. I'm just gonna pour all of this goodness over in this bowl, okay? And now you want to stir all of this goodness like so. This is going to be amazing. Now, I know today is Friday and I'm prepping and preparing for Sunday, but think about this, guys. It's gonna sit in the um, refrigerator Friday night, Saturday night. So. All of those herbs and spices and all of the, the onions and bell peppers and celery will have time to just marinate, bringing all tons of flavor out in this dressing. And it's just going to be amazing, okay? So you want to stir all this goodness. Now, I know that I put three eggs in this, but listen, I have to taste. I, I have to taste. People will say, well, you know, the eggs, that's a raw egg. But... I have to taste to make sure, you know, you have to make sure that everything is on the spot, seasoned. So I'm gonna taste a little of the dressing to see where I'm missing anything. Oh my goodness. It doesn't need anything but a little black pepper. <laughs> so I'm gonna add a little black pepper. I'm gonna stir this up. Now, let me give you a my trick and secret this is passed on to my mom. It never fails. Once you spray your pan, you want to pour your dressing over in your pan that has been sprayed down. Guys, what I will do, I'm going to put this in the refrigerator, but Sunday when it's time to serve, you will cover your dressing. You're going to cover this with some aluminum foil. And you're going to put it in the oven at 350 degrees for the first 30 minutes covered. Okay? So that's 30, 35, 40, 45. For the next 15 to 20 minutes, uncover it. And then it will start to brown. Listen, I promise you, delicious, delicious. 
You will thank me for this later. <laughs> You're going to thank me for this later, okay? This is a yumminess. This is my grandma's um, homemade cornbread dressing with all of these veggies, fresh herbs. You cannot go wrong. I want you guys to copycat me. Yes, copycat me. Make this. If you're not making it for Easter, maybe for Mother's Day, okay? Listen, first 30 minutes, cover 350 degrees. Uncover for the next 15 to 20 minutes. You want it to, what am I, what? You want to, Pastor Agents, I cannot hear you. This man, y'all help me. Um, the last 15, 20 minutes, you want it to bake it uncovered. And it will start to toast and just, man, it's amazing. Get your cranberry sauce on the side. Go to my first edition, uh, Cooking with Coco, every batch made from scratch. And you can get um, your gravies. Listen, your turkey gravies, absolutely delicious. Guys, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Happy Easter. Know the reason that we celebrate Easter. It is because of his death, his burial, and the resurrection resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I love you guys. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please go on over there. Subscribe and share. Don't forget, Mother's Day is coming up. This third edition, limited third edition, would be an awesome gift. Those that have supported Cooking with Coco, I appreciate you. I love you all. Happy Easter and have a good weekend. Bye-bye.